Well guys, I've uh, been working on it for a couple hours here, getting some benches set up in my little corner. Uh, not much to look at yet, but <laughs> this guy does a lot of this commercial flooring for these gyms, so I got a bunch of this real thick uh, rubber stuff that he's letting me have. Um, save my feet and my ankles and everything. And then I went ahead and put it on this top here. Uh, it's pretty cool stuff, man. It's really good. But anyway, we just made some uh, some quick benches. We're going to get some nice steel benches in here. And uh, what we want to do is uh, put some racks up there on the wall. And maybe another floor, actually. But get that real good steel stuff like they have in, uh, like Lowe's keeps all their materials. See how high the ceiling is? So, I mean, I got a whole nother floor here I'm not using. And we'll store bikes and motors and parts up there. I'm going to do bikes, cars, trucks, whatever. Um, like I say, we still got, he's got some stuff in here that he's getting out. Um, I'm not pressuring him or anything to get that stuff out because I wasn't supposed to be in here until uh, January the 1st. Uh, again, this all this weight stuff is for sale. He just took out the exercise bikes. Um, he's trying to get rid of all that stuff on Craigslist, I think. Um, and then this rubber flooring right here is for a job he's got coming up. Um, but anyway, and like I was saying in my other video, I've got use of the forklift that comes with it. Uh, anything you see over there, uh, including the giant screen TV, any of those tools, uh, any of the tools up there. Some of this is uh, my stuff, some's his stuff in here. But uh, we just kind of share everything. So, yeah, that's it. I'm not sure. i got to measure this thing off and see how big it is. Um, not 100% sure the size of this place. I think he told me it was 2,000 square foot. And again, these are his trucks and trailers out there. And I have use of those. Um, we're going to put a... This van is really cool. <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to check that out. we got to put a transmission in it because he keeps tuning his diesels up. He's got too much power and he's blowing the transmissions out. But uh, yeah, that's a... That... Um, uh, that's a Duramax over there. That van's a Duramax with the with the uh, Allison automatic. Same thing with these trucks. All these trucks he's got are, are pretty souped up. They're tuned up pretty good. So anyway, that's his other trailer. And uh, yeah, there's Bessie, the 1978 Toyota Hilux pickup. That's going to get straightened out. And again, like I say, uh, that's really a nice shop down there. It's uh, that trailer there. They got a race team or something. I'm not sure yet. Haven't met them. I'll go down there and talk to them but uh, it's a really cool place and uh, that's that's US 1 right there uh, that highway right there in the front and that sun is bright here finally but yeah that's US 1 right there we see the traffic going by and then uh, right up the street the way I'm pointing now is 95 that's a little over a mile away and then uh, if you head back down south that way that is um, like Iron Horse Saloon, Boot Hill, Broken Spoke, all that stuff. So um, right up the street is Corbin and JP Cycles and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm right in the Mecca here. So it's awesome. But yeah, that's all it is. It's just a little shop to work out of. And uh, you saw what I was working out of before in my little, my little garage. So yeah, we're in here cleaning. He's got a couple jobs that just deliveries came in, so sometimes that stuff will be in here. I just move it outside, or I just push it to the side um, with the forklift, and I can use the forklift to do whatever I want. Pull motors. Um, you know, like I was telling you, we're going to build racks back there against that wall, and what we'll do is we'll have jigs made up that you roll a bike on, kind of like, you know, pretty much like a skid here, like a pallet. Imagine this pallet on the floor having a setup where you can roll a bike on, put it in a chop, strap it down, and then you take the, the forklift, and we got all kinds of attachments for this thing. And then you grab this skid with the bike strap to it, and then you would just lift it up there and store it. Um, and there's a lot of reasons for that. I'm in Daytona Beach, so, um, you know, people want to store bikes, haul bikes. There's a lot of reason to do that. So, anyway, um, rambling on here, and I know it's, you know, not a whole lot to look at, but, uh, yeah, we're going to get it cranking here soon, so... You guys stay tuned, and I'll have some more exciting news soon. But yeah, I know it don't look like much. Just been in here busting my ass uh, last couple days. Came here yesterday, cleaned up, and 
everything. But soon I'll have all this area will be free uh, for me to do whatever I want. But for right now, you see I got just selective tools <laughs> here that I grabbed from my garage. Got the benches up and got a couple bikes here to work on. So, all right, guys. Dragon says peace out. Stay tuned.